Hello folks, Motorola introduced three new Edge series phones, Edge 30 Ultra, Edge 30 Fusion and Edge 30 Neo. The former is such a big upgrade that Motorola calls it an ultra-level premium device. Regardless of what Motorola thinks about its own device, it's fair to say that the Edge 30 Ultra looks quite impressive on paper. The phone is equipped with the latest, most powerful Qualcomm Snapdragon chipset, the industry's highest resolution camera sensor and the fastest turbo power charging. Featuring industry's first 200 megapixel main camera sensor, it's safe to say that the Edge 30 Ultra is Motorola's most advanced camera-centric smartphone. The phone's camera has been specifically designed to capture more light by combining 16 pixels into one 2.56 micrometers ultra pixel. That should result in brighter, crisper images even when taking pictures in low-light environments. Not to mention that the main sensor comes with optical image stabilization, so you won't have to worry about unwanted shakes. The other two rare cameras are a 50 megapixel ultra wide and a 12 megapixel Sony IMX663 telephoto, which offers 2x optical zoom. The selfie camera is the OmniVision 60 megapixels unit. The massive 6.67 inch POLED Full HD Plus display supports 144Hz refresh rate and is perfect for high end mobile gaming. The Motorola H30 Ultra has the latest Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chip with up to 12GB of LPDDR5 RAM. Storage is up to 512GB. There is a 4610mAh battery, which can take either 50 watts wireless charging or whopping 125 watts turbo power wired charging. Motorola says you can get 12 hours worth of usage in just 7 minutes on the cable. Motorola H30 Ultra will be available for purchase in Europe in interstellar black and starlight white from today for as low as 900 euros. Well, Motorola knows how to listen to their supporters, great design and specs with an affordable flagship price. Good job! Last we heard the OnePlus 11 series are coming before the end of the year, and now smart pricks and on leaks were able to produce some early renders giving us an idea about the design of the Pro member. It seems that the OnePlus 11 Pro's rotating camera rumors won't be materializing, yet there will be a brand new run camera island design, reminiscing what the Xiaomi does with its 12S Ultra, but the OnePlus 11 Pro's is off-center. The circular plateau seems to feature not one or two, but three cameras lenses in total and a flash for symmetry. We hope that OnePlus would finally slap a high-end zoom camera set on the 11 Pro. Not that the OnePlus 10 Pro doesn't offer a 3x telephoto zoom range, but the Viva X80 Pro camera set makes us hopeful for the OnePlus 11 Pro camera specs. Not only would the OnePlus 11 Pro bag get a brand new design with a circular camera island offset to the left of the center there, like on the X80 series, but the sides are going to welcome a good old addition that was missing from the last editions of OnePlus's high-end phones. Yes, we're talking about the Alert slider, which, no matter its resemblance with Apple's mute switch functionality, was much appreciated by OnePlus fans for the convenience it offers and made OnePlus handsets fairly unique among their Android brethren. The punch hole face of the phone doesn't seem to hint at any changes compared to the OnePlus 10 Pro, and it doesn't need to, as OnePlus already offers one of the best phone displays out there on its 2022 flagship that will likely carry over to the 2023 edition as well. As for the actual process and OnePlus 11 prospects under the hood, expect no less than the Snapdragon Agent 2 chipset coupled with up to 12GB RAM and 256GB of storage. A huge 5000 mAh battery is becoming the norm for OnePlus flagships, as is the fast charging up to 120 watts and 70 minutes to full charge from a depleted battery. Well, sounds like a winner at the expected $900 price, but the release date won't be before January if its predecessor is any indication. Guys, if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. Also, share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and good luck.